What's going on boys? Until recently, I did all of my stalling and chain resetting with the regular air roll button. This was getting the job done, but recently I started using the 180 air roll button instead, and it is a game changer. This button doesn't make your car roll non-stop, but rather flips you 180 degrees pretty much instantly. There's a few different mechanics involving this button, but today we're going to be talking about how to stall with it. Let's get right into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is head into your settings and go into the shoe options tab. Go down here at the bottom all the way to the right hit accessibility and you're going to want to make sure that the single press air turns is checked if you don't have this checked you will not be able to do the 180 air roll and just real quick show that it does work and before we get into it i'll just go ahead and show you the reason that this one is so much better is simply because of how fast it is that was all the 180 air roll and now here is the regular air roll as you can see it definitely takes a lot longer to get a full rotation in with well, this way you can just kind of spam it a bunch and you can just flip back and forth insanely quick Alrighty, so on to how to get the stall going so the motion is basically just as soon as you're in the air you want to jump again and then tap that button you do want to make sure to fully press your jump before you hit the 180 button because if not it'll look like this and you'll just kind of fly away from the ball once you get used to just jumping like this you can start to try to incorporate the ball a little bit basically just want to let the ball get bouncing pop it into the air a little bit line up your roof and then do the motion that we just talked about i recommend when you're first learning to not really worry too much about doing anything afterwards just kind of get used to making your car jump up into the ball and slumming your belly into it once you get a little more comfortable with getting the reset you can start trying to chain them together easiest way to do this is once you get your reset you just tap the arrow button and then jump again and for the most part when i'm going for resets like this i'm not touching in my left stick at all only if i need to do a big adjust but for the most part if you can get it in a good spot you can just keep jumping and doing the 180 button just tap the boost a little bit if you get too far behind and if you get too far ahead you are going to have to adjust a little bit differently and the other way to get resets is a little more difficult it requires you to kind of spin your car around and then just kind of jump up into it this way to me looks a little cooler but it is a little bit slower you definitely can't do this one as fast the only thing I'm doing here is lining up the roof of my car. I'm always looking for the middle of it, and I think you can even look at this circle that's in the middle of the boost button. Kind of line that up with the middle of the ball, and then just kind of jump into it. You want to make sure that your momentum isn't going too far to the left or right whenever you jump, or you're just going to kind of jump to the side of the ball and you won't get your reset most likely. And that's pretty much all there is to the 180 stall. To recap, when you're first starting out, you just want to get used to the motion. Just jump and then jump again and then tap your 180 button. Once you're good there, start popping the ball a little bit and go in for just one reset at a time. You just want to get under the ball, jump, and then do the motion we just talked about. And then once you get good with doing that, you can start doing the easy method of just jumping and then double tapping your reset button once you get your flip and then if you want to add a little bit of flair to it you can try the hard method of just spinning your car 180 like i showed you earlier and that is going to go ahead and do it for the 180 air roll stall tutorial hopefully you guys were able to learn something new and if there's any other mechanics that you'd like to see me cover please let me know down below if you guys made it this far i super appreciate it and i will talk to you in the next one see ya